back here at Dodger Stadium. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Your Dylan Floro please. comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better for results Dodgers. than the other arms Number that they've 51. run out there in this one. Dylan. Ready for another shot now. Ian Desmond last time through was a base hit. The center fielder. Ian Desmond. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Pollock has a read on it. He's got it one away. The batter, number 24, second baseman. Ryan McMahon. Digging in. Ryan McMahon. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch of the at bat. Skied into straightaway right, giving Chase his Bellinger. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Up next for Colorado, the catcher, Chris. Ionetta. Two away now in the Colorado seventh. And standing in now, the catcher, Chris Ionetta. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Two out, nobody on. Liner toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his the hands pitcher, inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box now, Kyle Freeland, as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only is he thrown the, the ball right well, field, but now 19, he's mixing in a base hit Charlie late in the game, Blackman. giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Into the box, Charlie Blackman, as he hits one on a line to left field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for Colorado, but they still hold a 10 to nothing lead. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order, digging in, A.J. Pollock. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Right side, gloved by Murphy. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting, shortstop, Corey Seeger. Ready now, Corey Seeger. He went down on strikes last time up. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Story moving to his left, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the third baseman, Justin Turner. Next up for Los Angeles, Justin Turner. No hits to this point. And now pitch on the way. 
Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Oh, and he misses it. Well, I'm not sure if he played now this a little too down shot or he took his Cody. eye off the ball a little bit earlier or what, but it's never a good look when you can't make a play on a pop-up like that one. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. Fouled away. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A uh, flip of his glove for one. So he keeps rolling right along. Make it seven shutout innings now. Eighth inning coming up. The Rockies are out in front. Stepping in, Nolan Arenado. He'll start us off in the eighth. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here comes the first pitch. And a little behind on the fastball there as he pokes it foul at strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, the on their feet. ability to get that pitcher yeah, to come yeah. into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Now Trevor Story will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. First pitch on its way. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the. Here's David Freeze to stand in. He leads off their half of the eighth, well, and he's been unable to get Dodgers. that starter out of the game the to this baseman. point. Yeah, he settled David. in early on the mound, partly due Freeze. to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The batter, Good three. pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands Fritz. and bunch him up. Save and an her. easy ground ball is the result. Standing in now, Chris Taylor. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder, and he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, oh, as he crashes headlong into the field. wall. And he now can. time is going to be called oh, here as yeah. we've got some Yahoo out there on the field. And per Major League Baseball, we're not going to show it to you. But security's got him surrounded now. And he's likely going to spend the rest of the afternoon in the pokey. Next for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pitch taken, several inches below the zone, in fact. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. 
Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Starting to look bleak, down 10 nothing. Standing in, David Dahl. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. You, know, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. First delivery to him on the way. Slap hard the opposite way. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder, Ian. Now at the plate, Ian Desmond. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. Return throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. The batter. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. First pitch coming. Here it is. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Pollock looking up. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo shot to dead center as they just continue to pour it on here. Wow, he really hit that ball well. Put a great swing on it with great extension, and it sailed right out of here. The In now, Chris the Iannetta. Chris Iannetta. And it's fouled away. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch to third. Turner's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's one run on two hits, with the big blow being the home run. No errors, and no one. Riding in once again, Austin Barnes starting things for his side the in the ninth as they the face catcher. the improbable Austin. odds of trying to come back Barnes. in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. And he buys himself another pitch as this is fouled away to keep it at 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Up next for the Dodgers, the pitcher, Dylan Floro. Your Alex Verdugo will get the call Pinch here as he'll hit Dodgers. for the pitcher. Number 61, Alex Verdugo. In there for strike one, Verdugo. Stands in at an even six feet, throws left handed, swings the bat the same way. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Oh. 
no, good that's job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Broke out the sweeping slider right there and just missed off the edge. If he would have caught the corner right there, I think he's got a backwards K. The one and two pitch. Got it. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. The but what's fielder, really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone AJ. either. He's just pounding the zone. His Waller. stuff is dirty today. So the lineup flips over and digging in A.J. Pollock. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, and they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On, he pops it up, but this will land untouched. Here comes the 0 1. And there's a called strike two, as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. Dunk, ranging back at the track. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game, so hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, what might have been? So close to a no-hitter, but it wasn't meant to be? That's baseball for you. 11-0, the final shutout total in this one. The Colorado Rockies posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Kyle Freeland gets the W on the mound. Walker Bueller struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Flezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for the ball game this afternoon for the victorious Rockies 11 runs 19 hits one error they left six men on base time of the ball.